What's up guys, Bodhi Spuggler here, and I'm here today to show you probably the best farm you can do before Season 18. If you get your enhancement cores, your upgrade modules, finally a little bit of bright dust, and, you know, stuff from your inventory. Now, to get this started, you've got to, you've got to load into the moon, and on the moon you have multiple locations to do this farm. So, it's it's just these chests. This chest here, I'll show you. When you're at the chest, you will pop this finest matter weave. Right here, it'll it'll drop enhancement cores from defeating bosses. And every time here, I'll show a quick example. Every time you kill the guy, he'll drop an enhancement core. Well, not every time, but you know what I mean. And the more of these battle weaves that you have, the more enhancement cores you're guaranteed. So right now I have 34, and that means I'll have 219 tacked on to that 34 enhancement cores. Because these guarantee you enhancement cores. It's just whether you put the time in or not. Now, to get the upgrade modules, you have to... Go to the Bright Dust part of the store and buy this Conceited Matagram. Bosses have a chance to drop an upgrade module when defeated. So, we'll put this and we'll stack it with the Finest Matter Weave. And then I will show you, you can get both at the same time. So every time you do this, you just wait, you just wait, and then the symbol should pop back up. You have to shoot the wrong symbol by now. It takes a bit of time for the, the upgrade one to come around, but it does, it does, I, I have proven it, it does work. So this is especially a good farm if you got any red border weapons you want to farm, or you know, trying to get that, that resonance to your craftables. So yeah, it might take you a bit to get your upgrade, like, upgrade core. Or but it will come around, not as often as the things, because every time you kill a knight and it drops an enhancement core, you gotta you gotta re go to your inventory and put it back. And right there, enhancement cores. So if you just keep going in and out of your inventory to put these, these do have a cooldown though. They're only like five seconds, so it doesn't really matter. But you keep using these. You use the things from the Bright Dust store. This one right here. You could have a chance to get upgrade module every here and there. Still waiting for our upgrade module at the moment, but it, 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 it is told to happen right there. Like that. Anyway, this is one of the three locations, I believe, anyway. So you have one here in the Archer's Line. So if you come straight through this tunnel, turn left. There should be a divot where a public event usually is. A bit next to it is where I am at. The next next location is in the anchor of light in this cylinder rotate like thing in the middle of the room, pretty much. The other one is in the Suarez Harbor. Like right here on my map. So you just go around the sector chest, you go all the way around the side. Then, right up against this wall, there's a hole in the wall, and you just walk in. So yeah, that's that's the best way to farm in Season 17, getting ready for Season 18. Season 18 is going to be crazy with Arc 3.0, so make sure to do your bounty, bounty prepping too. I also got a video coming up soon on how to bounty prep, and put all your XP down properly, who to go for, what's the best bounties, etc, etc. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, 
like and subscribe, you know, hit the button, whatever.